Have you ever wondered when it comes to black history, why our history gets told in reverse, whitewashed, or just play lied on? Well, when it comes to sports, baseball in particular, we was told that Jackie Robinson was the first black professional baseball player when simply, that's not true. Well, today, you're going to learn about the man who made it possible for Jackie Robinson and so many other black folks to come on and flourish. But before we get started in today's video, just take this one thing with you. If you think you have a hero, research that hero and find out who actually paved the way for that hero to be a hero. Now, with that being said, let's cue that intro. Born on October 7th, 1856 in Mount Pleasant, Ohio to Moses W. Walker and Caroline O'Hara. Both of his parents are biracial. Now, Mount Pleasant was a working class town on the eastern side of Ohio that served as a sanctuary for runaway slaves as early as 1815. At the age of three, the Walker family, they would move 20 miles northeast to Stubbinville, Ohio. His father became one of the first black physicians of Ohio. Moses and his little brother Wildy attended Stubbinville High School. In 1878, Moses he would attend Urbanland College where he would major in philosophy. His first year in college, he was the perfect student, but by his sophomore year, he decided to play baseball. He became the team catcher and lead off hitter. Now, the college they played baseball as early as 1865, and they was known to have a quote-unquote Jack Black first baseman. This means that Moses, he wasn't the first black player to play college baseball, but he was the first one to take it professionally. Now Moses, he began to gain attention in the school's newspaper called the Urbanland Review for his ball handling and ability to hit the ball out of the park. So during the season's last game in 1881, Moses' ability that whole game had put him on the notice from the scouts of the University of Michigan. So during this time, transfers was very uncommon, but he was very wanted in Michigan. His pregnant girlfriend, Abella Taylor, would follow him and they would get married in 1882. Now the University of Michigan, that was a horrible team. But with the addition of Moses, he single-handedly flipped the whole organization around as he led the team to a 10-3 season and he will bat a 300. In 1883, Moses, he will sign his first professional contract to the Toledo Blue Stockings for $2,000. So that's about $53,000 in today's money. He will also play 60 out of the 84 games that season and this season ended with a championship. But with great success comes controversy, of course. With his entrance into the league, this had caused friction with everyone. Before he could play his first game, he had to face problems. August 10th, 1883, going up against the Chicago White Stockings, which is now known as the Chicago Cubs, the manager of the team, Cap Anson, he had refused to play his team if Moses played. Charlie Morton, who was the manager of the Toledo Blue Stockings, had challenged Cap by giving him an ultimatum. Not only did he play Moses, but he started him in the right field and told him to forfeit because Moses was staying. In 1884, the Toledo Blue Stockings would sign his brother, Weldy, making him the second black professional baseball player, along with being the first duo of brothers to play on the same team professionally. In 1895, Moses and Arbella, they would get divorced, and he would remarry in 1889 to Etta Manson. During the years of 1884 and 1885, Moses, he would work as a mailman. In September of 1884, Moses, he was released by the Blue Stockings. On April 9th, 1891, Moses was involved in an altercation outside of a saloon, which is now called a bar. A group of white men would try to pick a fight with Moses. One of them would throw a stone at him, dazing him in the process. This would result in Moses stabbing him and killing him. Moses was surrendered to the police and he claimed self-defense. On June 3rd, 
1891, Moses, he was found not guilty by an all-white jury. Now, with this being in the 1800s and the black man killing a white man at that, plus getting found not guilty, this is a blessing in my eyes. In 1903, Moses, he would write a book called Our Home Colony. And this book is floored on the ideas of blacks immigrating back to Africa. On May 11th, 1924, Moses, he would pass away in Cleveland, Ohio. In 1990, he was inducted into the Irvine College Hall of Fame. So, we can't allow the brave actions of this man fade into history. Moses, he played professional baseball just 63 years before Jackie Robinson. Although they faced the same hatred, the state of Ohio and the Ohio Civil Rights Hall of Fame acknowledge his accomplishments. Now, it's time for America to do the same. Thanks to all my subscribers for watching and those that's not a subscriber, thank you as well. If you like what you see and would like to see more, check out a few more videos. And until then, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.